a window frame. Okay, let's take a look at uh, how we do that. Again, we're going to do apply transform and whatnot. So let's first make this thing looking like a window frame by making it not so boxy. All right, so let's say that's the one right there. Okay, so um, there are several ways to do this, of course. Uh, I'll do it long way and then a short way. Okay, so you, you both see it. I'm going to select both front and back. Okay, and then I'm going to use inset polygon or press I. Okay, for some reason my uh, my yellow kind of thing uh, it's not showing. I'm just going to press I right here. All right, so by doing that, what happens? This one is thicker than the other one. Okay, it's not doing it uh, equally. Okay, so I'm going to click undo. I'm going to do the apply scale or all transform and then I'll do that again all right see the difference now that it's applied all transform that's all equal okay um, I'm gonna make this thing kind of hollow one way to do that is uh, by doing a negative bridge okay so I can right click bridge faces and it punches a hole so instead of when you bridge it actually extends it but when they're on the opposite side it creates a hole okay let's say uh, you're trying to bridge and then there's other elements in between that did, that didn't work how do you um, fix a missing part let's say we're missing this two and press delete faces Okay, how do you fix those? It's actually quite easy. If you go to edge mode, select this edge and that edge, show that in wireframe mode. Okay. And then you press F as in face, and it creates the surface. Okay. Do the same thing here. Select those edges, or you can select those edge right there and that one. And we'll do the same thing. Okay. So now, uh, oops. Uh, how do we make uh, the other parts? I mean, technically, you can just create other pieces right here. It doesn't have to be exactly. But I do think here it's a little thicker. So just kind of. All right. So I manipulated it again. So I'm going to go object apply scale just so that it knows the bevel. Okay. All right. So what I'll do here is I'm going to do a control R. And scroll the uh, mouse so I get two lines right click to cancel the movement so it stays in the center I'm gonna select all these faces here I'm gonna click option or alt and click that edge right there it selects the entire thing okay now I'm gonna scale this I mean sorry extrude it first and then press S to scale it so I get kind of like a border so now this can work as a window frame or a picture frame. So if you need to create it horizontally or portrait or landscape for a painting, that's how you do it. Okay. But we're not quite done because we need to put, let's say, the glass, right? So again, I'm going to go Control R right there. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing. Alt click. I get that. Okay, and then if I wanted to put glass in there, I would extrude this. I'm going to go front and wireframe so you can see it. So I'm going to go extrude and then S. I'm going to go inside right there. So now it has kind of like a little indention. I mean, this is only if you're going to have a close-up. No one would know you stuck something in there. <laughs> you know, it's just for your uh, OCD, I guess. Okay, then we can put plain glass here for picture window. Or you can just put another glass uh, kind of and then put the, uh, the framing. You can put the lines. Okay, but this is it basically. You can 
use it this way or you can just put a plane in there and then put your uh, painting or photo okay so that's how it is